After a long wait, the very first Android 12 developer preview has now arrived. That means some neat new tricks and features to play with. But to save you some time and effort, we've been delving in to find some of the best new user facing features. So let's dive in. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Before we really kick things off, there are some features that you can access with a little technical know-how, but all we're here to do is to show you completely user-facing features, meaning that if you are happy to install what is a fairly buggy build of Android 12, then you can enjoy them right out of the gate. Although because this is a developer-focused build after all, we do not recommend that you install this on your main or default device. Please only sideload the Android 12 developer previews on a secondary smartphone if you have one. A proper public facing Android 12 beta is set to kick off in a few months that will be far more stable and suitable for everyday usage. But without any further messing around, here are the top new user facing features in the first Android 12 developer preview. Clearly one of the big areas that Google plans to improve upon in the next Android iteration is the media department as this first developer build includes a brand new UI for the media player with some associated enhancements. The new look media player UI is easily one of the top new features in this Android 12 developer preview one as it gives far greater prominence to the controls and associated album art. The player has changed on both the lock screen and when using the quick settings or notification panel with a larger overall size and easier to manage controls. When tapping the playback locator, there is also a new pop-up to quickly connect to or pair with a new Bluetooth device, therefore streamlining the process to get a pair of earbuds or speaker connected to your smartphone. The animations and accent color remain the same as the previous version. You can also now prevent apps from appearing in the notification shade as part of the media resumption controls. If you switch apps a ton and only want selected players to be active or resumed after a while, then this might be a neat option to keep things organized so long as you're happy to delve into your settings menu. Naturally, the settings app has had a few revamps over the years, but it looks like there may be some more tweaks set to arrive over this entire Android 12 preview period. A new rounded search bar can be found at the top of the main settings page with a far larger profile picture that now lives outside of this shorter search field. When diving into each individual section or subsection, there are early hints of the upcoming in-depth theming system. Each subsection now has a blue hue background that we hope will eventually follow your main device theme color in later developer previews. A minor but admittedly notable new feature that you might notice right away is the new pill shaped activation toggles for options within that settings menu. It's far clearer if an option has been toggled, but there are some vibes of macOS with each individual switch. Is this a game changing feature within the first Android 12 developer preview? No, but it is likely evidence of some more changes set to arrive as part of the new settings UI as more updates arrive in the coming months. Another very minor change of this developer preview is the slightly elongated app shortcut menus. That means when tapping and holding an app icon on your home screen, you might notice that the pop-up is ever so slightly larger than in previous builds. It's likely a quality of life tweak as it is marginally easier to rearrange or actually activate the shortcuts one handed. In recent versions of Android, Google has put an emphasis on improving the ability to share your saved passcodes for wireless networks. In Android 12, not only are you able to share via QR code, you can also utilize the neat nearby share feature to share any saved Wi-Fi passcodes or passwords with any nearby devices. Google has simply added a nearby share toggle to the Wi-Fi password screen, meaning that if you dig into a network specific settings and tap the share button, you'll see a dedicated button for nearby share, which on tapping will allow users to quickly share the SID and password of a network to other Android users in the vicinity with relative ease. Another neat enhancement to an already solid core portion of Android in the developer preview one is that of some added tools within the screenshot markup utility. The first change to the screenshotting experience sees users no longer able to tap an X to remove the bottom left corner notification. Instead, users can clear by swiping right to left. 
You can also add text for the first time with seven colors to choose from and a simple pinch in and out motion for changing font size in a similar manner to that of Snapchat. You can also add emoji as stickers, which again can be resized, adding a fun layer to the standard screenshot tool among some other powerful options that are already present. It wouldn't be an Android developer preview if Google didn't make some more notification shade tweaks yet again. This time the notification shade is far more transparent and there are some notable changes about how notifications look and feel. Google has increased the size of apps within the notification shade with larger fonts and profile images also bumped where they are used. There is some spacing between the top of the notification shade and your quick settings toggles, which we must admit can feel cramped with the time, date and status bar icons present. There's also a new neat little clock icon that quickly launches the snooze menu for notifications themselves, which is far easier than having to half swipe a notification to activate. The first tap immediately snoozes for an hour, while the expanded menu offers the added time limits. Last year with the launch of the Pixel 5, Google introduced a new feature to the stock Pixel launcher, adding the ability to adjust the grid size of your home screen. At the time, the only available options were symmetrical or perhaps square, the choices being 2x2, 3x3, 4x4 and 5x5, which is the default. For those wanting added customization options, the Android 12 Developer Preview 1 adds another option for the grid choices, 4x5. Specifically, that means 4 spaces across and 5 spaces down. This is, in fact, the first non-symmetrical option for the Pixel launch to date, offering a rectangular shape that may be a better fit for taller phones and one-handed usage. Naturally, there are more than just surface level changes in the Android 12 developer preview one, but this small selection happens to be the top user facing features that we've found thus far. Naturally, we expect to see more little things that might slip through the cracks over the coming days and weeks. We have done a deeper dive into every single thing that has been added, including some features that may require a little work to get fully operational in our full overview. You can find a link to that in the description below. But that said, what is your favorite new feature or what feature are you most excited about in the Android 12 developer preview one? Be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. But as always, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.